had the boat pad the other day. Yeah, we were coming over. I, I see you out here yelling. I'm like, man, you must be getting some fucking hate standing out here doing oh, that. Oh, man, big time. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I'm over here today. Over there, they were just about ready to kill me. You know what I mean? I mean, they came out on the street. So I told, I figured after five days, I better get him a break. And so <laughs> now what they doing is they, they, they ride across here. You know what I mean? Too much traffic for them to come over here and start talking. But uh, yeah, but you know what? I believe in the man. In the city, I ain't saying Trump ain't God. You know what I mean? Nor do I expect him to be, you know what I mean, everything I want him to be. But he is the best for what we got. So I hit him up like this. Watch. Trump! 2020! Trump soldier! Yeah, hey, I'm gonna watch this for a second. I'm gonna go out. Why? I remember you, but why? And we gotta watch this for a minute. Do catch us some serious hate. Why won't you go for it? You gotta have a reason. There we go. Trump Savior. There we go. Students, let's make America great again by voting Donald Trump. 2020. There's a card game. They call Trump. Trump. Let's do it. Trump soldier. <laughs> you got to tell those members. You got to tell those members. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's do it. Trump soldier. Yes. There we go. Trump soldiers. <laughs> Trump soldiers. Yes. Trump soldiers. There we go. Let's do it. Let's make America great again. Let's vote Donald Trump 2020. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. This Trump thing he knew he's been saying it for years. Let's do it. Let me see if I can get him to, to give Let's us the make reason. America great again. Let's vote on camera. Donald Trump. It ain't a publicity thing though, he really believes it. Get you a mega yeah, hat. There we go. Let's do it, Trump soldier. Yes, Trump soldier. There we go. Yes, he's ready, yeah. Yes. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Let's get this party started. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, too, for sure. This dude ain't no. Uh, he ain't no show for the fucking RNC or anybody else. He just does this because he believes in it. Hey, do me a favor, man. Yes. Let me get a little video of you explaining again why you like Trump so I can post this on my page and so people don't, I don't just take a picture and people think that you're either out here just because you're trying to hustle money by being a show right. or that you're doing this because somebody's making you do it. So go ahead and tell me. Stand here. Okay. I, I want you to, I, I, we got to get some of this in. I am Halo Burnell Trinell of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We are down here at Bradford Beach on, I believe this is Lafayette. Now the reason why I'm voting and I'm encouraging other Afro-Americans to vote for Donald Trump is these two main reasons. One, he took a descendant of the slave, Amarosa, took her all the way to the White House and showed the whole world that a black woman, a descendant of a slave, had the ability to run everything. Two, he sat down with Ken West. Right. Why does that, why is that significant? I'm saying this is why. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ told the Hebrews in his day, he says, you men 
have the ability to look at the sky and say it's dark clouds. And so there'll be rain and sure enough, rain came. But he said we lack the ability to understand the sign of the time. Because in this time, there'll be no sign. It will be the time. Donald Trump brought in the time for the Israelites. What time was it? According to what I said, he took Amarosa all the way to the top. George Washington didn't carry his slaves up there. George Washington, Frederick Douglass, the whole nine yards. So Trump did something no president did. Well, Frederick Douglass, technically, he was an advisor for uh, Lincoln, wasn't he? Well, let me finish here. All right. All right. So Donald Trump did something that no president has ever did in the history of the United States. Now, remember the history of the United States. Every oh, black no. woman, every black child was raped held in the chattel slavery iron for 400 years, 500 as they say. But no president had ever treated an African-American woman the way Trump did. Not even Obama? Not, Obama was African. Obama came and said, I am not black. I am not, that was meaning I am not a descendant of a slave. Oh yeah, that's right. Descendant of the slave being the differentiating white. factor. Okay. Right. okay. He said, "I'm not an African. I'm not a a, a a black." So he denied us. He rejected us. Obama has did nothing for us. Everybody say health care. We can't afford health care. We ain't got no money. So Trump at least had rather the will of God or his own inspiration to do some that no president has ever done and that's why he got my vote and he got my support in these avenues in the boulevard. I'm going to throw this one in and don't edit this one out. But yet at the same time, yes, there we go, Trump soldier. And yet, I do, those of you who do support Trump, catch me down here through August, through July at the lake, give to, the, give to this operation or stop by on Thursday at 915 East Wright Street, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53212. You sure you want your address put out there yeah, like that, man? Because yeah. you know damn well if I stood here with a sign saying Trump, Trump soldiers, yeah. I get my ad I get a rock thrown at me at best. One thing about Trump soldier, right, right. No fear. Come what may. There we go. So leave it in there. Come what may. That's the only way things happen. All right, right. man. First met Brunel on a pretty cold fall day. I was walking somewhere to drop off a package of FedEx, and there he was on the corner. It was this six foot four, some black dude with a sign that said, you know, go Donald Trump, and another sign about come out of the devil's circle. And I'm like, thinking to myself, what the fuck is this? You know, this dude uh, wacky, or is he hustling, or what the fuck? And he sees me looking at him, and he goes, hey, come over here. I got stood there for a second. He says, man, come on over. I want to talk to you. I want to ask you something. He says, you're looking at my sign, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I'm looking at your sign. He said, which one you want to talk about? And he had a little smile on his face. And he says, you want to talk about the Trump sign, don't you? I said, yeah, kind of. I talked to him for about an hour, maybe a little over an hour that day, freezing outside. I was wearing shorts and short sleeve shirt, too. I just thought I was going to be out for only a few minutes. And stood there for over an hour talking to that dude. And by the time I left, I was like, man, I do not know what to think of this. This is he is very different than what I thought. And the longer I talked to him, the more I thought I was going to see some sign of, uh, you know, weakness. Like he was going to take a drink or he was going to ask for some money for dope or something. Like I was like, there's got to be a hustle to this. But there was no hustle. And his character didn't change the whole thing. He didn't like get a, uh, like he was running out of energy or uh, going through a mood swing. Because I thought, you know, maybe he's crazy you know, homeless or something like that. But it was nothing like that. You know, and, and all I mean by saying that is that, you know, when you see somebody like that, 6'4", dreads, with two two signs about two entirely different to topics, and especially a black dude with the Trump sign in the area that I live in, that's, uh, that's like asking for, it's almost like asking for a little punishment. So so the last thing he said to me before I left was, you know, there's a reason that you came by here today, and there's a reason that, you looked over here and then I'm talking to you and I was like, yeah, the reason is because you're standing with this fuck on the corner with this fucking huge sign. And he said, no, no, he goes, 
A lot of people walk by me. They, I have a huge sign and they don't stop and talk to me or they do talk to me and they only talk to me for a minute or they don't want to listen to me or, you know, or they don't have anything to say. He goes, it's different though. He goes, do you know why you stopped here? I said, no, he said, he said it's the will of God. I said, it's the what? He goes, you don't believe me, do you? He said, it's the will of God that I met you today. And I said, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but okay, cool. I mean, I, you know, I don't know everything. Maybe that was the first time I saw. 